Good evening, people watching Romans 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins. Past, present, and future was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. That's how we're saved. That's how we're kept saved. That's why we're saved. And that's how we remain saved. It's only by his blood. It is grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. That's how we're saved. How do you believe? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time with the way things are going. Right now, they have no choice. And anybody who tells you, oh, this happens all the time, is a, is a lie. Please, this doesn't happen. We are not in normal. Normal is gone. And we're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit indwells in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, encourage you, minister to you, change you, feed you the word, give you discernment. He's your best friend. That's how we're saved. Kept saved and why we're saved and why we're kept saved. Because of that. Because of his blood. God doesn't half step. He's not going to save you for the sins you committed yesterday and today and not the future. Because he knows you're in a human body. Okay? You can lose rewards in heaven. But you cannot lose your salvation. And a lot of people say, oh, well, I can go out and do anything I want. Then you're not saved. I've said that before. If you have the mindset that you can go out and do every, anything you want after you get saved, then you're not saved. Because you don't want to do anything you want to do. I've said this over and over and over again. And of course, the same, some people, some of them are the same, come back and say, Oh, well, you're saying that we can do whatever we want because we're saved by grace through faith. Easy believism. Call it whatever you want. Okay. It's too late to be arguing with people about salvation. I'm just saying. We are in a turmoil. We are in a time right now where we are listening for the trumpet. Not arguing with people about how to get saved. And arguing with people about once saved, always saved. Especially that. Because everybody wants to come out of the woodwork now. Rapture must be getting ready to happen because I'm telling you, everybody wants to come out of the woodwork and argue with you about one saved, always saved. Oh, it's easy belie believism. Oh, it's escape. You want to, you want the pre-tribulation rapture because you want to escape. Well, duh. <laughs> really? Yeah. He provided it for us. Why not take it? Yeah, we escape. It says it in the word. Revelation 3.10. I don't know. People are just, some people just don't get it. But I guarantee you one day they will get it. One day they will get it. And that's unfortunate. Because they could have got it now and avoided all that. That's getting ready to come down the line. That's all right. I got to give you this article. This is uh, off of Hal Turner. So this is talking about economist Harry Dent expects biggest econ economic crash in our lifetime to hit between now and mid-June. Harry Dent, an eco uh, economist and author of several best-selling books, has warned that the biggest crash in our lifetime is going to hit between now and about mid-June. 
Not only is he saying that, but big bankers, CEOs of banks are saying the same thing. They've been saying this now for several months. People are going to know that this is not a big correction. It is a major crash, one that you have never seen in your lifetime. Now, let's stop right there for a minute because this just dropped on me. Let's stop right there for a minute. What can bring a major, major crash that the likes of it has never been seen in the world before? Hmm. It rhymes with rapture. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. Think about it. Think about it. For real, if the rapture happens, that's going to bring a major crash. I'm just saying. Anyway, the founder of HS Dent Investment Management and author of several best-selling books, Harry Dent, warned in an interview with David Lynn, published Friday, that the biggest crash in our lifetime will likely happen by mid-June. And he stressed, listen to this, this is what he said, we won't see this again. We will not see a bubble economy. Our kids will probably not even see a bubble economy decades and decades and decades from now. It happens once in a lifetime at most. Again, think about the rapture. Because the rapture will bring an economic collapse. Not only to this nation, but worldwide. Because millions and millions of people will have been disappeared. Now, am I putting a time frame on the rapture? No. No. But some idiot out there write me and tell me that I am. Yeah, I said it. Sure. I'm not putting a time frame on the rapture. When a person puts a time frame on the rapture, they're saying the exact date, the exact time, the exact period. For example, um, what's today? Tuesday? Tuesday is 625 right now. It's 626 p.m. <laughs> Tuesday. What is it? April 11th. The rapture is going to happen. I hope that happens, but no, I can't do that. I would never do that. But I can give you about like with everything's happening right now, the, the economic wise, war wise, <laughs> Nuclear wise, yeah, yeah, it's going to happen sooner than we think. He explained that the biggest crash that he is predicting is what 2008 2009 crash should have been. Noting that the SP 500 was down 57%, 57% at the time. About a year and a half into that crash, central banks just stepped in and started printing money at unprecedented rates. So that recession didn't really do its job of flushing out the greatest debt bubble in history, Dent, Dent described, adding, listen to this, listen to what he's adding, listen to this. And this is what makes me think rapture. I, he said that he, this is him talking, I am predicting as much as 86% decline for the S&P 500 in this crash and 92% on the NASDAQ. Bitcoin will go down more than 95 to 96%. Folks, that, think about, again, I want you to think rapture. Think about the rapture. Millions of and millions of people have disappeared. This right here? This right here? Yeah. Yeah. Dent expects the crypto market to crash alongside stocks with BTC falling 95 to 96% from its November 2021 high. Bitcoin will fall from $69,000 to about three to four thousand dollars sixty nine thousand dollars to about three to four thousand dollars adding that 
is exactly what Amazon and the dot-coms did. The Economist has repeatedly warned about the biggest crash in our lifetime. He pointed out that after his previous warning, the Nasdaq went down about 38% in October last year. That's just the few, that's just the first way down. There's two more to follow, and we have already started the next wave down, which could take the NASDAQ down to eight thousand dollars in just in in this next wave. Not the end of it. That's going to be down a little over 50%, he detailed. That's when people are going to know that this is not a big correction. It's a major crash. One that you've never seen in your lifetime, nor will you ever see it again. Addressing why the recent crash happened later than he previously predicted, the economist clarified that the reason was due to central banks declaring war on recession. Never before have central banks declared war, literal war on recession and falling back into recession. The economy underneath is really, really weak and really needs to get rid of a lot of really bad debt and zombie companies and the central banks won't let the economy do its thing. The central banks have declared war on the free market. That's a problem. The economist cautioned, we are about to hit the third wave. Emphasize, hmm, third, three, third wave, emphasizing that he does not believe that the Federal Reserve will be able to stop it. I think it's going to creep up on them before they can reverse the tightening, he predicted. Adding, we have not cleaned up the massive debts and over overvaluations of the biggest financial assets bubble in everything. We have never had a financial asset bubble in everything like this. The bubble has not been allowed to burst and clear out its excesses, which we need to do. And I think we are now in that process. Noting that the Federal Reserve overstimulated the economy. And now they have to tighten strong. Now listen, let me stop there and I'm going to say something. After the rapture. I told you this before. They're going to have to count <laughs> everybody who's left behind. They're going to have to be a census. That means they're going to have to... Let me see. How do I put this? Oh, yeah. Limit the amount of money that you spend. Still want to be left behind? He says here, they have to tighten strong. He stressed that the Fed has pushed up interest rates and tightened more recently than they've ever done since the early 80s. So this is serious tightening, he exclaimed. Now they're tightening and they're thinking, well, the economy underneath can handle it. Will the economy underneath handle it? No. The economy underneath has been weak since 2008 and does not get strong until a few years from now. Did further explain that what looks like a correction will turn into a crash, more like 1929, 1932, down 86% on the S&P 500. Emphasizing, I think it's going to be worse than that. Emphasizing that it is his Best forecast at this time. The Economist clarified, you get a first wave down, a second wave bounce, which we've seen. We are already into the third wave just starting. The third wave is usually the strongest and hardest wave. And I think most of that's going to happen between now and the end of the year. And the biggest part of that third wave of the third wave is going to hit between now and June. He says here is not easy. It's not easy to time the market, as most people know. 
But this is so important that he said he's timing the market. Now, when I read this, I think of rapture because what better way to crash this economy than millions and millions of people disappearing at one time? I'm just saying, I'm just thinking out loud. I'm going to link this article in the description box and I will, if anything else comes up, I will be back later. But right now, the Boston Red Sox is playing the Tampa Rays inside the Tropicana Field. And I'm watching it. So if anything else comes up, I'll be back. Thank you.